All right, so let's get started with part two of this tutorial. Go ahead and open up your Blender file and let's go. All right, so select the mid we just made and then let's see where it stops. So about there. Let me just turn this off real quick so I can see what I'm doing. Let's add a loop cut here so it kind of lines up with the other side. And let's turn this back on. So let's select this vertex and then control right click or left click the other one. So when you press control before you select between two vertices, what it does is it chooses the shortest way to kind of get there, if that makes any sense. Right, let's select this vertex and then control select this other one. Shift D to duplicate it and then let's move it up on the Z axis. And then we want to separate it, so press P to separate and then by selection. So we're separated by what we've selected basically. So now let's select this, go into the front view. Press A to select all of it and then extrude it down. So E then Z and then bring it down just a little bit, not too much. Now let's just bring it in a little bit. Actually, you can see how the solidify is facing outwards and the faces are in. So you can't really see the vertices from the outside. So what we're going to do to fix for that, come back into the solid solidify modifier and then bring the thickness inwards like that. So you can actually see the vertices on the outside. So then let's bring it forward a little bit on the X axis, just a little bit. And then let's scale it along the Y. So S, Y, and then just bring it in just a little bit, just to where it's interacting with the midsole. Let's just check the other side. Now we can use this to make the upper. So first of all, let's smooth out, so W and then shade smooth, like so. And then let's go into the front view, go into edit mode. Then let's select this side. Actually, I need to extrude another one. Let's do that real quick. Let's just rotate it a bit. So let's select these two up here and let's bring them up. We're a ton of proportional editing for now. So bring them up on the Z axis and then do the same for this one. So we're just trying to follow this path basically because we're going to turn this into the upper. So select these and then bring this one up a little bit. And there we go. So now what I'm thinking of doing is splitting these two into two different parts. So let's add a loop cut into the middle, control R. And let's just position this a little bit. So let's select these two. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier, just control left click to extrude them and bring them out, as you can see. Let's just bring this forward a little bit. There you go. Let's kind of pull this out. Bring this down. Just trying to make sure it lines up with the reference image. So if you can't tell already, it's all just the same, the same technique, just pulling, extruding, etc. So it's not really that complicated to be honest. That's kind of why I chose this shoe because it's, I mean, it's kind of complicated to be honest, but it's quite simple to make. Let's go to the top view and then let's just line it up. So let's just select these vertices over here, press 7 to go to the top view, G and then move it to the Y. Let's turn on portion editing, make our lives a bit easier. There we go. Let's just bring it in a bit more, something about there. And then let's select this other side, front view, and then do exactly the same thing. Let's kind of bring it forward a little bit, rotate it, line it up as best as we can, and then let's just do this, that same thing and extrude it out. So control, left click. There we go. Let's move it down a little bit so it lines up a bit better. There we go. Let's go into top view and do the same thing on the other side. So select it and then just grab it, move it over on the Y axis. Use the portion editing, bring the ring a bit bigger and then maybe rotate it just a little bit. Can just kind of get in the right shape. You get what I'm trying to say. Let's bring this out a little bit. And then select these four corners here and then press F to make a face in between them. Here we go. So now let's move over here. So connected and let's just kind of rearrange it a bit. Make it look a bit better. Let's go to the side view, kind of just pull vertices. There's really no right way, just whatever looks good to you. So let's just rotate it a little bit. Kind of pull it out, make it all neat. And there you go. That's half of the upper done. As you can see, it's pretty simple to be honest. 
It's a pretty simple process, quite easy to follow. And again, this is still very low poly, as you can see. Not many vertices as of right now. So now let's move on to this side of here. So yeah, again, we're going to do exact same thing as before. So let's just select these two edges here. Make sure I slice in the right ones. Go to the front view and then do exactly the same thing. So extrude, control, left click and just go down. Again, you could just press E and extrude like that, but I find it just quite easy to, I find it easy to just press in control. It's a lot faster anyway, so let's get it all the way there. Let's move this down a little bit. Don't worry about it clipping over there. We're going to fix that later. So let's come in here, select these edges and just move in and wonder why. Make sure it's interacting with the up, with the midsole a little bit. Talking too much, I'm going to confuse upper midsole. Anyways, just make sure it's sitting quite nicely. Here we go. Select these two, we can move in middle of the Y. So that one, double press G, slide down a little bit. And let's move it to the, grab this one, let's move on the X and then the Y a little bit. Let's go to the top view. Make sure it's all aligned. So just like we did earlier, like so. Go to X-ray mode, Alt Z. Okay, looks pretty good. Here we go. Let's bring it down just a little bit. And then now we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So start with the other two vertices on the other side. And then go into the front view and then follow the same path. So just X-ray mode and then control left click to extrude. And just try to line it up the best you can. Okay. It's looking pretty good. Let's just bring this one a little bit. Just kind of pull it forward a little bit. About there, it looks all right. Bring it on the Y a little bit. So yeah, so far you should have a good grasp of how modeling works in Blender. Let's go into top view and then do the same thing. Just kind of bring it out. So yeah, kind of the main thing to take away from this tutorial is that the way you attack how you model in Blender just depends on what you're making. So whether you start with a circle, a plane or a cube, just depends on what you're making. Alright, so let's just select these four vertices right here. And then let's just join them by pressing F to make a face. And let's add a loop cut in between, Control R. There we go. Let's just make sure it's in the right place. There we go. Let's kind of bring this up a little bit. It's a bit low right now. Let's go into the side view and just bring everything up just a little bit. There we go. Let's bring this down a little bit. You kind of should get the ideas of right now. Kind of just pull the vertices to make sure everything lines up properly. Whatever looks good to you, basically. Can I just retouch it a little bit? Okay, nice. Looks pretty good. Let's kind of pull this up just a little bit. So line up with the reference images a bit better. So, so now that we have this done, let me just pull this up. And just do the same on the back there. By the way, if I'm going too, too fast, feel free to pause the video. So now that we have this done, let's add in these little kind of seams or edges on there, little bumps. So in the reference image, it's like this little, hold on one sec. So there we go, you can see this little ridge in the middle. So let's just add that. So if I want to isolate a certain object in the model, a certain part of the model, you can select it and press the forward slash button, if that's what it's called, I don't know. But if you press that, it was it will isolate it on its own. So, as you can see, let's just select this part in the reference image and then press the forward slash. You can see it isolates them two only, which is quite useful when you have a lot of different models in the same workspace. So let's add a loop cut, bring about there, somewhere over there. 
And all of these vertices here, we don't really need them, they're extras. So you can grab them, double click G. Actually, turn down here, which is merge vertices, auto merge. It's this icon there, so click that. Now, when you slide the vertex to another one, it will basically merge the two, just like we've been doing earlier. So you can just go around doing that. Another way you can do this is by selecting both vertices that you want to merge together, press M, and then merge to last or merge to center. And then you can select the next one and press Shift R. Shift R basically repeats the last action that you did. So if you scale something and then you select something else, press Shift R, it will scale it again. So it's up to you. You can either press M to merge it together or you can just turn on the auto merge and then double click G. So it's really up to you. So let's just go around and just do the same thing. Merge all these unnecessary vertices. Trying to keep it cleaner. So now we're really coming up to there. Actually, let's just go back there. That looks good. So if you want to join two two points like this, you can select both of them and then press J. And it'll cut through like that. And then you can go into edge select mode. And then select it. And then delete, go to delete. And then dissolve edges. And it disappears. Uh, so now we can select this whole loop here. Press Ctrl B to add a bevel. Make sure you're only adding one, so you should have three lines, like so. And then let's join all of these in the middle. I'm just pressing double G, by the way, I'm just double pressing G. Let's do the same thing on the other side. There we go. There we go. Now let's select the loop in the middle. Like so. And then we're just gonna insert it. So turn off proportional editing. Press G and then bring it inwards towards the X and then scale it in along the Y axis. Now let's turn subdivision back on. There you go. You see that it has a nice edge, quite defined. Again, if you want to look smoother, you can turn up the subdivision amount. Like a higher amount basically. Comes out smoother. Or leave it low and then come down to this object data tab, which is this kind of green triangle. Go to normals and click auto smooth. What this does is that all the flat faces will be shaded flat and all the faces with like a, an angle to it would have like a smooth shading basically. Which makes it look a bit better. Also, if, if your subdivision count is very high, it's going to slow down your computer. So this way is much better. So now let's add another one underneath it. You can see it there. So let's do the same thing. Let's just loop cut. Control R. Let's put it to where we need it to be. Let's just move it up just a little bit. Like so. And then I'm select these two and press J just to connect them. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So select this vertex here and the other one and then J. There we go. So now let's slide this down a little bit, give a bit more space. Do the same thing on the other side. So press it, double press G and then slide it down. Now let's select this whole loop and let's press Control B to add a bevel. And let's just make it a little bit bigger. Just do exactly the same thing as last time basically. Somewhere over there. Let's merge all these, you can just select them. And then press M at center. There you go. Just move it down a little bit. And then do the same thing on the other side. So just select all of it by just dragging your mouse. And then M at center. And the same thing as before, let's select this middle line. So you see how there's the three, you want to select the one in the middle, basically. And then let's just insert it. Press G to grab and then bring it down inwards like that and then scale it along the y axis you can see it's poking out over there so s and then y and hold down shift just to make it a bit more accurate but there it should be right looks pretty good now you have these two lines there it looks pretty good here we go what to the front view looks pretty nice okay See those two bumps there? Perfect. Let's just bring this up just a little bit. Kind of get a bit closer. Just rotate it just a little bit. There we go. 
Let's do the same down here, smooth this down a little bit. Let's kind of select this loop. Let's just push it out a little bit, just to make it a bit more rounded. There we go. So now let's press the forward. Let's bring everything back in. There we go, that's what we have so far. Looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the, the toe box. Alright, so that's the end of part two. Click the playlist for part three.